No, we don't need to get anything else out of our systems. Oh my goodness. Wait, why was that funny? I, I don't trust any of you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So for anybody watching at home, we're sorry for the last couple of weeks that we've missed. We've been short a player, and unfortunately, we are short a John again today. Um, so because of that, we are still going to play. Uh, Doc is going to be driving uh, our dear friend Otho Kent today. So whenever he dies, it's all his fault. Didn't he say he wanted Sin to do this? No, well, you know what? Sin wasn't here to test things, so uh, you, you got that duty, so good luck. So, when last we left our heroes, Nate the Human Ranger, Gobs the Gith Sarai, Hexblade, Otho Kent the Lizard Folk Life Domain Cleric, and Abraham Grissom the Human Wizard, our friends had started to try to make their way into the sales level of Neep, with the attempt, er, with the intent of making it to the home of the professor that Nate had been communicating with um, in the attempt to find his missing friend and find a way into the Fey Realm to save her. They met a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful two headed creature whose name I've forgotten because it's been two, three weeks, uh, but they gave him a sandwich. And he was he was very happy, and then the other head got a bigger sandwich, and it was also very happy. And then they began to make their way through the under the under what am I trying to think? Like the service service tunnels below the actual main sales level. So they the made word, their way up the ladder and made it into those service tunnels. The word you're looking for is sewers. We're in the sewers. It's not quite sewers, but it's kind of sewers. So it's vertical sewers. I believe this is where we were, where we ended last time. Can't believe yes. did you guys you guys defeated both of these guys, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we knocked them out and tied them up. No one's died. So we'll put sleeping boys on the map level. And gobs. Yep. I want you to do a roll for me. That is typically how this game goes, yes. Yes, it is. It is. Um give me Uh, Doc, you can explain to Centaria what's going on uh, if you'd like. Uh, so, but uh, not after after a while. Um, do me a favor and give me a history check with expertise because of your background. You would have an and so advantage and expertise on this particular history check, please. Hey, let me just see if uh, here we go. Custom skill modifier. I'm just going to enable this. Uh, roll plus four. Enable. Yeah. And history. Did it work? It did. Just looks right. very funky. All right. And roll it one more time since you have advantage. All right. Got that. 14. So 14. Um, as you see these two kobolds laying there, you notice a symbol on the back of their clothing. Um, it's an X with a circle around it and a square around the circle. So it's a big X with a square and a circle. Okay. You know, this is a symbol for a, um, for a kind of I'm trying to think of the best, best way to explain it for creatures that are, are definitely a bit more under darkish, right? Your, your kobolds, your goblins, your, your, your um, half orcs, that kind of stuff. It's a specific uh, um, breaking and entering gang. So, so there, it's not a big one. It's nowhere near the size of the shrouds. It's just one of the, it's almost like a team, right? Maybe 15, maybe 20 of them. And they go and they do smash and grab jobs. Um, violent, they're not opposed to, like, say they break into a, a business after hours and the owner's still there. That owner's probably going to die. So it is a member of that specific gang. Um, both of these guys are. Okay. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. 
Uh, I'm just doing a thing. It will be ready in just a moment. Okay. Please. I promise I'm hurrying all that I can. Of course. Here we go. Uh, does the gang have a name? Any that I'm aware of, anyway. Say that for me again. Does the gang have a name, or at least one that I'm aware of? Um, it does, but I wasn't prepared for that question. Give me a moment, let me think. Um, it's the Glitter Eyes gang. Glitter Eyes? Mm-hmm, because they can all see in the dark. Until we meet someone who can't. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Okay, got it written down. Everything is here. I see Nara has now noticed that something's going on. <laughs> okay. Um, so, looks like we're not the only ones who's doing a bit of, well, illegal upwards maneuverability right now. I wonder how these guys get in. Good question. And of course I'm gonna regurgitate the knowledge that I had about who they are. Yeah, these guys are not nice people. Well, I mean, hoodlums. Yeah, also they did attack us. Well, hi, Otha. <laughs> what, you want to hold hands? Okay, we can do that. Jeez. You're going to do everything you can to make me regret giving you that ability. Uh, no. It's it's my explanation for the fact that I'm going to be moving them like this. Mm. Fair enough. Um, Other than that, I'm not going to put words into Otho's mouth. Good deal. Other Don't put anything else in there either. No. Healing potions. Mm-hmm. Spare fingers, you know. Human flesh. The, the He's looking a little pale. Here's an arm. The occasional gnome. Yeah. Hey, he's looking a bit rough. Let's give him a hand. Arthur's like, hey, what? Are, we got these two prisoners here. Uh, you guys have any idea what we're going to do with this one prisoner we got here? Oh, man. Oh, look how these prisoners got away. We, we, we got mm. a a prisoner. Mm. I don't know where they went, guys. Ugh. Now, the the real terrible thing is he doesn't actually have teeth, so he has to eat them whole like a snake, so the jaw just distends all. And it stores into his tail, so he's just dragging it around behind him. No, 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 no. Then, then because his stomach can't break down the bones, he has to spit out pellets like an owl. <laughs> oh, that's just horrible. All right, so what would you guys like to do at this point? Follow the team. Yeah. Yes, follow the team. Yes, so we're just going to leave them here for now. Yes. Just Nothing else we can do for them. And sneaky sneak. Sneaky sneak. Let him sneak ahead. All right. <laughs> You're coming up to a door. It is a wooden door. Listening at the door. Okay, give me a perception check. Trying to see if there are any more kobold. Yeah! Fuck These yeah. rolls. Two and a one. Yeah, as far as you're aware, can't really hear anything on the other side of the door. Fantastic. Gonna, uh... Pick something. Gonna wave uh, to the guys. They can come up. And uh, I'm going to try and open the door slowly. And the door does not budge. Well. Don, we need to find another way. Hmm? What's or, up? Uh, I mean, it wiggles uh, a little bit, to... but it feels like it's either stuck or, or something's keeping it from opening. Yeah, the door's not opening. Hmm. 
if I take a look around the door itself, like underneath it and stuff, can I see anything that would block it? Like, is it just stuff on the other side, or is it actually just locked? Uh, you can give me an investigation check, if you'd like. Sure. And this is just a 100% enclosed tunnel. There's no exterior. Correct. Okay. Correct. Um, so, you know, you can, the handle freely turns, right? Um, you know, that's something that's easy to see. So you, you, you don't think it's locked, but you, you know, like I said, it kind of starts to open, but it's just won't open. Is it like something stuck on the other side blocking it? Potentially. Okay. Just push really hard. Is this you finally capitalizing on the fact that none of us have strength? Mm -hmm. So I go up there. Mm -hmm. Then I go roll strength to push against this door. Okay. Go I'm for it. Make sure Nathaniel's helping me. I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm also gonna assist. I'm gonna assist. We're, we're I'm all assist. helping you push. All right. This is athletics Get... or straight strength. Uh, this would be. <laughs> I'll give you an athletics check on this one. <laughs> Which is straight strength, actually. So. Um, as Come all, here, as Come all here. of you lean and push on the door together, it splinters and falls through. <laughs> well, I'm, I get off of me. <laughs> I'm assuming that somebody ah. fell in and somebody fell on top of me or something. Well, hi there. No, they didn't fall fall on you. you. I will say you guys kind of stumbled through a little bit, though. So if you guys want to all move to somewhere in those first couple squares. But if you'd... You, you beat the DC, so you're, you're good for actually being in the room. Okay. Uh, just like that, or are we further in? You guys can all be in within the first one or two tiles of the room. Like, like here, here, here here just somewhere within that first kind of block of block of things but i possibly have rolled over our poor wizard <laughs> never mind there <laughs> all right and without hesitation as you guys stumble in these two are going to be like gonna, uh, this particular one says intruders get them and it's initiative time Initiative time. No, you can't prove that. You can't prove it's initiative time. What? And both my, both the sheets just closed for me. Why did they do that? God damn it. Okay. <laughs> Abraham is up for blood. Okay, so that one there... That one. That didn't work. <laughs> oh, no, it did. Never mind. It worked. Why does he have all his... What the... F what is this? I should... Are you looking at his character sheet and freaking out? All right. Nate. Or not Nate, I'm sorry. Hunger, hunger for flesh of humans. Mr. Grissom. Mr. Grissom, what would you like to do, sir? He just said attack? Yes. Yeah. They, are, they are intruders, are, right? He said, like, intruders. Intruders, okay, yeah. So, like, they they are ob obviously hostile. Right, but do they look official, or are they also criminals like what we just put down outside? Um, well, one one is a uh, one's a hobgoblin, right? Uh, with that that same symbol on his armor, and the other one oh, is okay. a half ogre. Well, yeah, I didn't know if we have diversification hires in this place. I mean, they, they are do. working in the subsectors in the tunnels, so yeah, yeah. No, these guys are not official. The, you you can okay. surmise that they are likely part of the gang. No, oh, yeah. If it's if it's like that, then I'm just blasting them. If there's like. Well, anyways, I started blasting. I started blasting. Um, Firebolt seems to be the way to go. Hey, and you know, you I'm do you, baby. This uh, guy over here. 
All right, shooting the hobgoblin first. Correct. All right, do your thing. That is a hit. It's a D10. Oh, only three damage on it. Well, he's on fire, though. I'm kidding. I know. But still, he takes you get a good solid hit in his chest. So and good job. I will um, step through my teammates. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Your turn. You could also go back in the previous room, I think. Uh, I'm in the fight. All right. Uh, I'm not that okay. kind of a pussy. It was <laughs> tactical. All right. Anything else you'd like to do, sir? No, I'm done. Awesome. It is the half ogre's turn. Let's Poor see. Nate. He is just going to roar and he is going to charge to here. Hi. Good thing I got out of the way. And he is going to look at Nate and go, little man squish, and try to hit you. Uh, please, no. Does a 22 hit you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and he is swinging it two-handed, so that is 2d10. Oh, Why, dear man? lord. That is 21 points of damage. Um, what? Yeah. You um, just killed him. No level one that's... player has that much, or level two player has that much health. I do, just. I do. Just. I have 21, exactly. Um, I have 19 plus 2 temporary hit points. <laughs> so it literally takes you to zero? Mm -hmm. So Nate, yeah. Nate is unconscious as he gets two-handed battle axe to the face. Ow. And that is the end of his turn. Let's yeah, put a um, marker on you. We'll use this one. Gobs, it's your turn. Okay, then. Um, Literally rolled just shy of max damage, Nate. I'm sorry. Well, just glad it wasn't a crit. Yes. Crits are awful at low levels. They're not great at high levels, but they're awful down here. All right, what can I do? Yeah, I'm... Would that even do it? Yeah, let's... Let's do that. I am going to cast a spell. I'm going to cast Armor of Agathus, because of course I am. Go for it. Uh, which gives me five temp. I believe it's just the first level version. I'm just going to link it real quick. Five temp, yeah. Go for it. Following that, I will move. And as I'm moving, I'm going to go, Hey, hey, big and ugly, bet you can't repeat that. I'm just going to move this way towards the hop, uh, the hop goblin instead. Now... You're just moving, so that will provo provoke an attack of opportunity from him. Yep, that is correct. Okay, just making sure you're aware of it. I'm aware of it. I'm betting on it. Okay, good deal. I thought you were, but I'm just making sure. Uh, that is a 20 to hit. Uh, yeah, I have already cast a spell, so I can't cast any more. That will hit. He does 14 points of damage as he catches you with the two-handed swing of the axe as he comes through. That is fine. He takes five points of cold damage. Ah! Oh. And that brings me to that amount of health. And I am just going to stop right here, right where I am. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to move all the way up to the Hopgoblin, regardless. Okay. All right, sounds good. 
And that will be my turn. Just stopping right there. <clears throat> Nate, go ahead and give us a death saving throw if you could, please. Yep, and that one incoming. And he has one save. Good job, sir. A hobgoblin is right in front of a target, so it's going to be pretty straightforward what he's going to do. The bigger guy. He can't do that. So he is wielding a longsword and a shield. Uh, he's actually like nicely armored. So, uh, and he is going to take an attack upon you since you are right in front of him. Yeah. Does a fourteen hit? It does not. All right. So he takes that swing and is unable to connect. Just catch it on the shield. Hmm. <laughs> Uthak, come here! He yells. Uthokent! Who's... Um, <laughs> he is now a murloc for the rest of the session. I'm clearly. dealing with this. And clearly. Right? It is Uthokent's turn. What would Uthokent like to do? Well, seeing as his friend is wounded, Uthokent is going to do what he does best and cast your wounds on Nate. Now, he is a life domain cleric, from what I can tell, so that he should is. give him a lot more healing. Oh, yeah, he already has that all calculated out. Great. Yeah, uh, John makes it easy. But I roll just as well as he does. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you receive eight hit points there, Mr. Nate. Thanks. Doesn't he have that uh, healer's kit thing? Uh, Anyways, thank you. Yes, but I, uh, I think you've already been hit by the healer's kit, haven't you? It's hard to remember uh, from last time. I can't remember if uh, that was today in game. Well, we could say it's not since we since it's been so long. I'd rather error in your favor than error against you guys. In that case, I would probably have done the healer's kit, but. Okay, we can retcon that. I'm good with it. It's still in the same turn, and you're doing the same thing, just using a different resource. Yeah, so I'm, a, I'm okay with that. It's also a different die. And a different player. So all of these things combined, I'm okay with shifting it. So by all means, okay. do, do the healer's kit if that's what you want to do. There we go. You're healed for seven. Then. Seven points. All right. Anything else that Otho Kent would like to do for this turn? Uh, yeah, he's going to be moving as well, but in a different way. I imagine he's going to be moving actually just there. -ish. Okay. Yeah, actually there. Which won't actually, be a problem. No. The ogre's already used his, or half ogre's already used his reaction, so he can do that with no consequence. Yeah. Wait, he can do both? Your wounds and he uh, healer's kit? No, he only no, did he one. Only he did, did the healer's kit. Healer kit. Oh, okay. uh, since, since I don't fully know what's on his sheet. Okay, fine. Actually, no, he would not go all the way up there, but never mind. Well, he still has 10 feet of movement left, so just there instead. Not his turn. End. Also, the Ryoker still can't do shit about it. <laughs> How in the world does he put the sheet out? Oh, I'm gonna quietly trying to trying to understand all that's on here. Sure. All right. Anything else that Otho Kent's gonna do this turn? Nope. That's his turn. His entire turn. Awesome. Mister Grissom, it is your turn. I don't know what I can do. I'm just going to shoot this big guy. Okay. With how hard does he look? Um, He's he's bleeding and uh, a little bit from the frost damage he took, but he still looks fairly sturdy. Okay. 
he's an ogre. They don't have any particular vulnerabilities that my character would be aware of. Mm -hmm. So, outside of being very dumb, they are indeed dumb. Not clever enough. I'm going to shoot him with a fire with a magic missile. Okay. I'll like to roll minimum. Ouch. Still, all all of them do impact, and he does take damage. So. Oh. Be surprised if he cast shields to negate that. <laughs> uh, shield brooch. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, no, he's not. <laughs> That's it. All right. All right. And this is the end of your turn. The half ogre is going to do as ordered, and he's going to come here. Hello. Nate, you get an attack of opportunity. Uh, are there any uh, downsides to lying down and attacking? Disadvantage? Yeah, you have disadvantage. You do hit, and you do a significant amount of damage to him. You actually catch him, like, right above the middle of his back, and he actually is limping as he goes over there. That did not feel good for him at all. Just casually slit his Achilles tendon. Good job. All right. He is now standing next to Gobbs. And he is going to attack Gobbs with a two-handed strike with right. advantage. Yeah. He didn't need it. He rolled a nat 20 on his first attack. I go down now. Let's see if it's an instant kill, though. You take 21 points of damage. It is not, but I am down. Let's see. Uh, I'll just put this on. For, is that the one we do for knockout, or is it the, the X? No, the X is for dead. Okay. then just So, down. sleepy time. Sleep, sleep time. And that is the end of his turn. Gobs, can you roll a death saving throw for me? I can certainly try. I can get you, back to fact you, caucus. What, you I'm have really a hit point. <laughs> Just getting back up into a standing position, I imagine? I uh, this, this, yeah, I think you would sorry. just be, you would still be prone. You just have a hit point. Yeah, but yeah, as in pay half my movement to stand up. Well, you, when you make a death save, that's the end of your turn, isn't it? No, it's the start of your turn. Is it the start? Let's look. If you roll a 20, the one HP you gain lets you get up and then act, or lets you act. So, yes, you now have your turn. Yeah. Interesting. Good deal. <gasps> Um, okay. Uh, by the way, I have a level of exhaustion, yeah? That's, I was that's correct, and so would Nate. Nate, I forgot to mention that. That's a good call. So you both have one level of exhaustion. Yeah, which says we're from minus one. To minus it. one to any d20 roll. So, yeah. so again, we're doing the new exhaustion, not the old exhaustion. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so it's, it's minus one to any roll. Uh, any no. so any d20 roll and um they do stack but you don't die until you have 10 levels of it okay all right i'm gonna utilize this cantrip on the big old ogre basically just making an attack and if it hits it sets up some thunder damage okay go for it uh let me just see if i can find a way to give myself that minus one to hit Oh, there we go. Global attack modifier. Minus one. Two. 
20. Does that hit? It most certainly does. It takes 10 points of slashing. And he... I, I, are we doing non-lethal on this guy? Uh, considering what we know about these people, no. Not any longer. Yep. Go ahead and, and describe how he goes down into death time. So, I imagine that Gob's been knocked down. And sort of, sort of, as she finds her way, just pushes off of the floor with, with the hand, like on the sword, gets up into a standing motion, just keeps going, sweeps just underneath his cheek, basically making a pest dispenser out of his, uh, up a, out of his head. Excellent. Yep. So, yep, you're able to take the big one down. Is there anything else you'd like to do for your turn? Um, yeah. Uh, turn towards the Hopgoblin. All right, big guy. Your turn. Okay. And that's my turn. Excellent. Nate! What would you like to do, my friend? Gonna stand up. So half your movement to stand up? Yep. Gonna pull out my bow. Awesome. I'm gonna sharpshoot at this guy here. Okay. No. That unfortunately does not hit. <laughs> Is there anything else you'd like to do? Nope. Okay. It is the Hobgoblin's turn. He's just going to look at you, Gobs. So yep. you, you should have stayed down. And he's going to try to put you back down. Of course. And that is a 22 to hit. Ooh, 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 that would have hit, if not for that. <laughs> Excellent. So you cast shield so that that black obsidian iker just kind of, as you kind of go, ah, you just kind of wave your arm like you're going to try to shield it. And as you do, it is the right hand arm, which kind of spiders out into a, sh a physical shield uh, that the blade bounces off of. Oh, I'm still really starting to like this thing. <sighs> Othokend, it is your turn, my friend. Othokend will toll the debt for that guy. Okay, what's the save on that? DC 13, I'll just link it. There we go. Awesome. Uh, DC 13 wisdom save. What's the wisdom? Okay. If he's undamaged, it's only three damage. If he's already taken damage, it's eight. He is dead. As he did not pass, and he is going to take the full damage. Which would be three? No, full damage is eight, because he'd already been hurt. Oh, he'd already been right. My bad, my bad. Yeah, that's eight. My bad. Yep. So you just see his, uh, you hear a slight popping sound because you're so close to it. And you just see his eyes roll back in his head and he falls over. All right. Ow. Nate, are you okay? Also, since you're no. standing there, you would be able to see there's a portcullis. All right, so that was rough. <clears throat> so we we going to be keep uh, keeping on going from here, or what are the plans? Also, please remind me of 
what Orthu normally does in these situations. I believe he cursed the hurt. But not with spells if he can avoid it. I need a break. It was brutal. Everybody just take a rest. I'm not ready to die here for this. Yeah, I don't think any of us are. Also, those two kobolds back there, they're part of this gang. They're f dangerous and potentially murderous. I think there were lookouts for these two. Well, if I'd like a good that did them. <sighs> but, hey, in your case, you took a pretty nasty blow. No, I'm not okay. I kind of want to go back. Go back down? Some random smoke just destroy me like this. I'm clearly not ready. I mean, to be fair, that was a big weapon. And that was a half hooker. Yeah, it's a half hooker. We'll probably meet worse up there. I'm not going to save Tala just by dying here. Hmm. Well, um, I mean, that is true. Whatever it is, we need to recuperate. Two of us yeah. have almost died. Yeah, we definitely need to do this before we do anything else. Oh, so can't you look over... over Miller? Or over Goffs? I need perception checks from everybody. Nate's going to hear it. Abraham's going to hear it. Gobbs is not. There is this perception. That second okay. one is Otho, but it doesn't show up. That's fine. So everybody but uh, Gobbs hears. What's this? What's this? Taz, boss man dead. Yes. Intruders. Yes. And you can see two kobolds at... The port cutlass. You there! You come to take treasure from us? No. Why you here? Why you kill boss? We're trying to get up. No up. Not no, anymore. Saying... What do you mean, not anymore? Monster of the Depths. He controls the way up. You give treasure. You pay for boss dead. Wouldn't the boss being dead be a good thing for you? Means you're the boss now? If I the boss, I say you give treasure or you dead. What makes you think that'll go over well, remotely? Not using remote, using spear! We killed your boss, what makes you think you could do anything? You look tired. Hurt. Magic missile, that one talking. Okay, go for it. Oof, that hurts. Jesus. All right. It is the it's a it's one of the shield kobolds. He gets hit and he goes ah ah ah. 
Is that no. look tired to you? Go away or kill you. Give me an intimidation check. That wasn't supposed to be with advantage. I mean, the first roll is a 20 regardless. Still. Oz, we run! Go get others! Come back and kill! That's fine. Oh. Time to go. Let me begin to leave. We need to go. Yeah. Yeah, we do. This path is not working out. What's the another path? Uh, not any we've seen yet, but we can always explore other options. I mean, we're just looking to get up. Perception yeah. checks. This is for hearing something, if that matters to any of you. Uh, not that I can tell. Second one is Otho, first one is me. Uh, you can hear a horn being blown. Yeah, we're heading down in a hurry. Although I think I am getting a quick healer's kit in. Okay, the portcullis has begun to open. We are leaving. Nice. I think we're just leaving at this point. Yep. All right. We are leaving. Hold on. Is that Hold on. Move, on. move back. On. Move Double back. moves and all that. Hold on. We're going to do it in initiative order. So let's go ahead and, and roll it. So go ahead and give me your initiatives. Oh, that one turned out for Otho for whatever reason. But that was using... Oh, God damn it. Do we have the same... No, we don't. Uh, his... Otho's is supposed to be one higher. All right. Gobs, it is your turn. What are you going to do? Well, like we said, we are leaving. Okay. So how far can you move in a turn? I can move 60 feet. Okay, let's make this easier then. Can any of you move less than 60 feet? Or has everybody, or has everybody got 30 feet of movement? Um... Me and Otho does. Do. Does. Okay. So, and I believe the other two do as well. So, um, so I'm not, I'm not going to make us do this in initiative. I thought you were slower. So I thought there was a chance they could have caught you. Um, since you're, you're all the same speed, you are going to be able to get out. Uh, so I'll say you guys run back. Now, once you get to the gate, are you guys going all the way back down? Or are you guys just going out to the stair, to the ladders? I imagine all the way back down. This seems like a, this doesn't seem like a viable way to get up. Okay. All right. So I'm going to say you guys get to that. Um, they're not going to be able to catch you. They may as because they wouldn't based on how I imagined the. Um, the ladder system, because you climb up to a level, walk across that level, that plate, and then the ladder's on the other side, so it, it's kind of zigzagging down. They're not going to be able to shoot down at you or anything like that. So, we will go back to here. Hmm. All right, so that clearly didn't work. At least not without a whole lot more firepower than what we've got. So, what then? I mean, the only other way up there that I know of would be the elevator, and that doesn't seem likely. Not without a good reason. Go.
don't know. So if you guys go all the way down, um, when you get to the bottom, um, the Etten is still asleep after he ate his sandwich. Yep. And what would you guys like to do? I think for now we need to regroup somewhere. Find out what we're going to do. Because that did not go well. Another lead, how to get up or something. Yeah, it's about all we can really hope for. Uh... Is there any way we could get a pass to get up? Um, generally, you're only admitted into the sales level when you have when you're on official Senate business or you live up there. <laughs> yeah, and what we're doing here is not exactly official, as far as I'm uh, as far as I remember. Right, Fine. because because um, they wouldn't even let um, uh, they wouldn't let Charietto up, which is why he was hoping you guys could find a way in. Yeah. By the way, Gobs, uh, should we perhaps inform your friend about uh, what just transpired? About his... Yeah, whatever this was. You think this was an attempt to get us killed? No, it's just that... Uh... For his sake, he should probably know that uh, that route is not safe at the moment. If he didn't know about it. The way, the way I figure, either he already knew about it and planned this, or I don't care enough for, uh, for me to prevent him from going into it. No, it's more like maybe we could... Yeah, I'm so done at this point. Like, maybe we could use it as leverage for him feeling bad, so to speak, about what just happened to us. So he also, will try and make amends. Also, something I need you guys to keep in mind, this would be towards the end of day two, so you now are down to 12 days to yeah. get the money. Yeah. So that's something to be mindful of. Uh, you think you're thinking we're going to try and squeeze money from him? I don't imagine that'll work. Also, I don't not money, favors, something. You're the one who does this kind of stuff. I'm. I've really tried all I can to do this by the book. I'm just. So I'm not where smart. where are you where are you guys at at this point? Imagine some street going away from the place. Not like an open street, but you get the idea. Okay, so let's do this. You guys have gotten to the bottom mm -hmm. uh, of, the, of the zigzaggy ladder. You peek out, you see that Etten is still asleep, mm -hmm. but I want a perception check at that point. I'd say you guys have been kind of having this conversation as you guys went down. Okay, and this is based on vision. Also, where is, where's mm -hmm. Roscoe at? Was Roscoe with you? Roscoe's just been with me, hanging out. Okay. Shoulder bird. Otho. Gotcha. I just thought so, just making sure. Otho hears a lot, or sees a lot, or he perceives a lot. Okay, give me just a second. Where is what I'm looking for? Where are my notes out? For crying out loud. I know I've got it in here. I know I named this guy. Sorry guys, give me just a second. Um, so as you, as you guys get to the bottom and you guys start to, you know, open, cause there was that kind of shed that is the start of that climb. As you go to open that door, it's a, it's starting to get dark. 
right? It's late evening or late afternoon, early evening. Um, and you do see that Etten is still asleep, but you also see about 10 of the um, Corsairs and a Corsair captain standing there as they are yelling and upset about the Etten being asleep and talking about firing him and stuff like that. But there are a large number of Corsairs just outside the gate, and they're starting to go through the area to see if anybody slipped in while he was asleep. Okay, so there's no safe way back out, then. It, it would be difficult to sneak out. All right. So you are somewhat stuck between a rock and a hard place at this moment. Now, the go- you could tell that the glitter eyes, they did not come down the ladder. So you do have a little bit of a safe place there. Um, but it's only a matter of time before this building you're in and possibly even the, the walkway gets checked. Um, so you might have time to maybe do a short rest before deciding what to do. Uh, but it's something you, you're, you're kind of on a timetable now uh, where it's either try to get past a bunch of Corsairs or go back up and try to go through them or pretty much your choices at this moment. Hey, um, chat. And objectively, the Corsairs would be the harder fight. As we yeah. would understand it, like from a cultural perspective, these two organizations. Yeah, they're probably so. Number one, um, they're they're better geared, better trained, things like that. Mm-hmm. Number two, they are the actual law, uh, which is another flip side of that, right? You know, if if say say you guys go up and you fight your manage to fight your way through the glitter eyes, and then the corsairs come through, they're not really going to be looking into too hard to who did something to a bunch of gangsters. Now, you guys roll out, get caught, and end up fighting your way and accidentally hurting or killing a Corsair, you're going to be wanted big time. It is going That would be a very not good situation long term. Yeah, it, it's the equivalent of killing a cop versus killing a ganger. Yep. yep. Imagine killing a cop in a town where the cops are, it's much, they're much more powerful than a normal cop, right? So as far as it's like old school like cops where, you know, there's prestige to it. There's respect to it. You kill a cop. Everybody knows most of their names and it's it's not going to go well. It's the kind of thing where they would march 50, 50 cops into the, the bad part of town and just start kicking open doors and beating people until they find what they're looking for. Um, and it would not go well for you if you killed a police officer and they caught you, if you killed one of them, the uh, Corsairs. That's that's where you get drawn and quartered, or uh, keel-hauled. Okay. Neither of those things are nice, as a note. Okay, I think heading back to cover for now then, in the tunnels, and... We might need a quick timeout to just discuss, like, out of characters, like, what we actually can do here. Discuss okay. actual character abilities and so. So, let's say you guys climb up about halfway, climb back up about halfway, right? So you've got a decent amount of time that you will probably hear any Corsairs coming up the ladder. Um, and then also you won't be close enough to where you're easy to get to from the other guys. And I will say, I say you guys are probably going to, what, take a short rest? I am, it might as well. I, th- I think before we commit to that, I think we just need to stick, the, stick our heads together for a moment. Okay, go for it. Okay, like I said, probably more off character than anything. Like, what's realistically what we can do here? Because a short rest, I mean, that will give me my spells back, but that's about all, all it will do for me. You also get oh. the roll hit die. Don't forget about that. Not as true. Hit die as well. Otho currently has two spells left for the day and can use his healer's kit on himself and on Abraham. I haven't been hurt. Yeah, that's why I'm pointing out that he can. And 
I would love the fjord rest, but I'm not sure that we can really afford it. <clears throat> a short rest is a one hour rest, yes? And the All right. guys were still going to go alert everybody, horns blowing. Yeah, I mean, it seems like they well, did that instantly. They like, without having to go very far, so the home must have been right on the other side. Uh, he so had, that, would, that would have he happened had, regardless. Yeah, he had the horn on him. He just went to a specific hallway to blow it. But, again, another thing to know is there's a chance that they may have thought that they just scared you off, right? Because you went running down the thing and they did not pursue you. So that's just something to be mindful of as well. You also don't know how many of them there are. Imagine when he said boss man, he talked about the hobgoblin. Hobgoblins tend to be in charge. Mm -hmm. They could have more, more of those uh, hall folkers, though. If they have even one of those, this becomes very dangerous. And then there's also the uh, the thing about do we actually need to do this this way? I mean, I don't see any way down at this point. At least not without handing ourselves over, which is more or less mission failed at this point. It's hard for me to say what the correct course of action is to do here. I mean, would we even have a an idea of how long we would be thrown into jail or whatever if we were caught? Like what the consequences of being caught on that side of the fence alone would be? I mean, it's definitely a restricted area. So... um you're probably looking at a fairly serious trespassing charge. You're probably in jail waiting to go before um, the magistrates for probably a couple weeks. Yeah, we don't have yeah. that time. Yeah, so, I mean, that's mission failed for my part of it, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the rest, the, the rest of you see this mission failed. One. Your mom dying. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a big issue for me, not necessarily for you. Sure it is. I mean, the reason we're even going up here is to try and prevent that. But we also sort of need to live to do that. Like I said, Othokan does have a few spells left. I mean, and he is a life domain cleric. He's not a slouch at healing. If you guys uh, think we uh, can have a short rest here and still go up, then we can do that. Otherwise, I just say go for it. I'd say let's definitely try. I mean, we're far enough down that the kobolds aren't gonna aren't gonna catch us, and we'd likely hear someone getting up here before they reach us. So, yeah, because it's like it's all metal. It's like a metal ladder up to sheet metal that goes across, and there's like valves and some stuff, some maintenance hatches that they check on, right? And then it's metal letters ladders. So think of it kind of like if you were in an on an oil rig. Right, like out in the ocean, you know how that's all metal and it's all that banging and clanging when anybody walks across it. It's that level of loud. So if somebody was coming up, especially you know the city guards, right? The corsairs wear heavy metal armor. You're gonna hear them. They can, can't be quiet trying to get up here, and they're not gonna move up here quickly because climbing and that stuff's a pain in the backside. Yeah. So if we do hear them coming, we should have enough of a warning that we can get the fuck out of dodge. If you say so. 
And if we do see them actually chasing up here, the Eldritch Blast can destroy a lot of things. I could start just shooting, stu shooting stuff apart as we keep going, hoping it'll slow them down further. Yeah, but then we're also risking uh, wanted posters. Provided they see us, if we're staying far enough ahead that they don't. I mean, what's the lighting like inside the tunnels themselves? Uh, it's n it's not great. It's that, like, you know, uh, if you've ever played, like, Dead Space, you know, those yellow lights behind the metal casing around them? It's that level of lighting. It's low lighting. Oh, yeah. They're, they're not going to get clear pictures of us. Um, I can't even uh, see it right. Cool. Up to you. I think taking a short rest might be the better idea. And then hope that they thought they scared mm. us up, and then just give them the rude awakening that we didn't. Well, I guess that's all we can do. We're stuck. So yeah, let's just proceed with an action. Okay, so short rest. Okay. And yep, that you are able to Get a short rest at no problem. What is half of level two rounded up? Half of level two? Rounded up is the key part of that. Half of level two is one. Okay. Sorry, half of level three. Like, I'm, I, sorry, I was, I was considering those percentages like that. If you're half of, like, if you divide down to 1.5, is it go up or down? It would go up to two. two. We are currently level two, right? Yes. Yeah, Sorry, I was just thinking ahead. My brain is working in weird ways as I'm reading some text here. <laughs> it's all good. My mouth isn't catching up to what my brain is thinking. Let's see. Otho is... That happens at... to us all, my friend. <laughs> how's Otho at a... Oh, that's how Otho's at above his current hit points. He has temporary hit points. From the breakfast the same day, I believe. Yep. All right. Let's roll some hit dice. Nine. Wow. Your dice does not like you. Might as well use the other one. That puts me at full. And that finally put me at full. And because of Warlock, I now have two spell slots again. Whoop whoop. All right. So the short rest goes off without a hitch, I imagine, at this point. Mm hmm. Then I'd say we should advance upwards. Let's in hit back up. Because going down seems like it's a bad idea. Unless we can get up and into the city, we can probably vanish. Well, not necessarily vanish, but you get the idea. Let's, I thought we were just going to continue on going up. Yeah, that's why I said. Okay. Did, uh, didn't it catch... Is it not picking up my voice again? No, it, it, it came through. It's fine. Okay. It's me. All right, so you guys are back here. Yes. So, so you're, you, um, you finish your short rest, you catch your breath, you eat a little bit, drink a little bit, tie on a bandage or two, or like 25 on uh, Nate because he got... Bisected Gob. almost. Gobs did uh, too. Yeah, Gobs had a rough time too. Twenty one, so, one hit both of them. Yeah, so so you're you're looking like a anime protagonist after a big fight, just bandages everywhere. Um, right, right. I call hacks. Right. Anyways, so you guys have reached back up to this level. Mm -hmm. what, what would you like to do? I guess just 
continue on? Did, uh, did we want to send a scout ahead? Or did we just want to go? Out of, cur- out of curiosity, by the way, does short rests affect exhaustion at all, or is that only long rest? It's only a long rest. Okay, just yeah, checking. Yep. Yep, each each long rest reduces... I th- at least I'm pretty sure. Let me look. Yep, it it is a long rest. Okay. Hmm. There's apparently no just global role modifier. Oh well. By the way, since uh, it's low light in the, in here, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Abraham and me have uh, this well, about its own. It's, it's not that low of light. You guys are going to be able to see just fine. There's enough to see. I just wanted it that that kind of atmosphere. The impression, the impression yeah, that, that there's just like service lighting, yellow yeah. service lighting everywhere. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, so if you have to like screw on a screw or stuff like that, you're gonna need a flashlight. But for just walking and talking, I don't think you need it. Right. Much. Like yeah. If you want fine detail work, you might need some extra. But yeah, you, exactly what you said. Okay. All right. So, okay. Let's try and be... Do we have any sort of tricks we can do to sort of scout ahead as we're going? I mean, Nate is great at it, but... Roscoe? It's it's fine. No, just go ahead. I don't have a Roscoe token. We don't have a Roscoe token? I mean, I can give you one. I just don't have one in the game. I'm more remembering from Sean how bad a single bad stealth roll can be if you're scouting. Because you're the one on front. You're the one up front. Yeah, if you want to give me one, I can throw it in here real quick. I swear I gave you this before. That's probably true. It is true. I just went back. Oh, you were correct. (laughs) I did not doubt you. (laughs) And if you want a perched one, there's a perched token. Is Mila still bloodied? Oh, no, I forgot to move it. My bad. That's fine. Just double check. No, I'm at full. I'm far from blood from bloodied. Well, I'm, I'm 11 hit points from bloodied. Sorry, this will take just a second. Yeah. Sin, you should be able to see him now. And should be in your journal. I didn't fill out his character sheet, but 
There you be. Can you see him? Yes, I'm trying to interact with the fucking drag tool. There he goes. All right, cool. There you go. Now we have a Roscoe. Hey. And that's a tiny shadow underneath them. If that's kind of confusing what the token looks like. Token comes with a shadow. So he flies along through the little tunnel using his agile little raven wings. Yep. To flip along and land on some protrusion copper, you know, wiring. Yeah, like, or yeah or pipe or one of the lights. And just kind of yep. look and listen. Okay, give me a perception check for him. I think it's just plus... It's plus three. That's what I thought it was. Eight. Um, everything seems clear. He's not seen much of anything at this point. Same thing. Kind of just flying back over this way and just perching, yep. listening. Yep. And also, go ahead and give me a uh, um. <clears throat> That a stealth stealth check for him. Just pure dex, then. Yep. Yep. I'm not concerned about that, so I'm just moving on. Yep. Flapping through. Yep. I'd like to flap over here and try to make another perception check from this angle. Passive go perception is 13, if that matters. Yeah, go for it. 11. He's not doing too hot. Okay. But I'm not slowing down. Now, He's... he is he is out of range that you could take control of his eyes and stuff. Right. I'm just letting him okay. talk to me. Right. I've not been listening. Oh. I've not been looking through his eyes this entire time. All right. Just making sure. Just making sure he can talk to me. Yep. Still good. He does see the blood on the floor there from where you fought the other guys, but they are not there. Their bodies are mm -hmm. not there. The unconscious ones have been moved. Hmm. Is that door closed? Perception check right there for me. Nineteen. Okay. So through the doorway, he sees one of the armored kobolds. And you can probably see it because the door is open and I didn't rehide it. But yeah, he can see what's in that room. He can see this kobold which you recognize as the one that was talking to you earlier and blew the horn. I see. Okay, and he's still hurt. Um, and then a non-armored kobold, and they're basically, they're going through these guys' stuff. Okay, I'll just tell the guys, like, Roscoe sees them, they're two kobolds. It's the same ones we I, I, that we scared off before, and they're going through the boss's pockets. Uh, let Roscoe fly back to me. Well, then no one else then? No, I don't believe so. I'm removing my Roscoe because he's on my shoulder now. Sure. Good job. That was very intelligently done, gentlemen. I'm proud of you. And, uh, yeah. I guess we just need to clean them up and move forward. They may have been lying about their reinforcements. It could very well have been. Let's just go and deal with them. I'm old and tired. Yeah. It's been a very long day. Okay. I'm just going to wrap these two up so they're easier to move. Okay. Are, uh, so, so are you guys just kind of going? Or are you going to approach stealthfully? What's, what's the plan? I'm thinking stealthily, uh, you know. Try to catch them by surprise. All right, let's give me some stealth checks. Assuming everyone's in agreement, I don't want to. Put oh no, on. it doesn't, doesn't seem like a bad idea. I'm gonna hang back with uh, with Miller. Since she is bad at stealth and in an armor that makes a lot of noise. Okay. 
So I'm thinking uh, the same we did before with um, with people a a corner ahead and just following up. Okay, so I just want stealth checks from everybody right now, and I'll tell you since you guys can see part of the way there and kind of know where you're going, and I'll tell you where you can get before it becomes problematic. Right. Let's see here. This is Miller stealth. Okay. And this is Otho stealth. Why is his at disadvantage? Scale mail. Chain mail's at disadvantage? No, scale mail. Scale mail. Okay. Well, um, it's just yes. a skin. Don't be, just, don't be racist. It does just say scale mail in his inventory. Wait, no, he was not wearing it. Never mind. But the first roll is still one, so. Okay. Um, you guys are actually, even with, uh, with Otho having his trouble, you guys can actually get to the door entrance without being noticed. Because I just looked up his AC. Yeah, his AC is just his natural armor plus a shield. Yeah, it's better than mine. <laughs> But that also accounts for his one, then? Mm-hmm. They both rolled nat ones. You're fine. So, you guys are all at the door. So go ahead and move your guys, all your guys' tokens up there. We're going to roll initiative. Is any one of us black? Is Otho Kent the only blackish one we got? Or he was goblins? I need somebody to bust in there saying, surprise, motherfucker. Surprise, most... motherfucker. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> All right, oh, so my, motherfucker. <laughs> let's go ahead and roll initiative for everybody. But you guys are going to get a surprise round. I rolled, as per usual. I don't know why the dice hates this character. As in... Naked. Why do I keep critting? I don't think that's a bad issue to have. <laughs> it's critting on these things. That's bad. Yeah. Alright, so... Which not was nine to initiative, Jesus. Who has plus nine to initiative? Mr. Nat hey. One over there. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Here's what's funny. Even with his Nat One, he's still going before them. So you guys get your surprise round first. So Abraham, you get to go very first first. Okay. And they are unaware of you. Meaning advantage, question mark? Meaning advantage, if you have an attack roll, yep. I'm already grumpy. Okay, what are you, what are you doing and who are you doing it to? Uh, seven points of firebolt damage to the first guy, just because he's the first guy. This right? guy? Yeah. All right. Only because he's the first guy, and I do walk in. Okay. Uh, he's dead. That kills him. <laughs> Flat out. Yeah, that actually checks out from the other unarmored one. They had, like, no health. <laughs> so you step in and nuke him. Okay. We're back. What would Otho Kent like to do? Um, Otho Kent has nothing good that utilizes attack rolls. Uh, he's going to move up behind the wizard. He's already mm -hmm. hurt, uh, so toll? Uh, yeah, he's going to do toll. Okay. Toll the dead. For and nine if he fails. He does take the full nine points of damage, I believe. Doesn't that, does not that do anything else special? Nope. 
The only thing that about Toll the Dead is that it deals D8 if you're at full health, but D12 if you've taken even one point of damage. That's why he has two different dice in the damage thing. Yep. And he is not looking that great. So he's not like on death's door, but he is definitely fairly wounded. All right. Gobbs, what would you like to do? I'd say I have a straight line through the door from here, so I'm going to shoot and then move. Okay. Because that's the thing we can do. Go for it's it. Dramatic enough. Uh, it, it, is it not dramatic enough? Mm -mm. Why don't you do backflips when you shoot? Um, I can actually do a dramatic thing then. If you do, you want to do dramatic? I can do dramatic. <laughs> you can do whatever makes you happy, whatever man. Makes you happy. I'm gonna rush in and j like sort of set off on that dead ochre and fly in, into his face, or uh, like sword swinging. All right, with advantage, go for it. That hits. For that amount of damage. 14. Wow. So you cleave into his shoulder and a little bit into his neck. He is spurting blood and does not look very good at all. Pip, Nate, what you want to do? Gonna walk in. See, wasn't, wasn't it better to do it dramatically? Yes, yes, shoot him in the face. All right, let's see if you can get him in the face with advantage. With advantage. All right, go ahead and roll your damage. How would you like to do this? In the face. Done. So, so, so this is what happens, right? So you step in, right? You guys are, you guys are kind of nervous. Like, all right, these guys are really tough. Abraham walks in, flick of the wrist. The first one's head is he incinerated, just ash as he crumbles to the ground. Then Othokant comes in, snaps his fingers, and you hear that tone as blood starts pouring out of the face and the ears of the remaining one. Then Gobbs comes in, does like a, a, a forward flip to a slide and cuts into the guy, almost cleaves his head from his shoulders. And then Nate comes running in, and as he's strutting sideways, lets go of a single arrow that goes straight through one ear and out the other side of its head, and it crumples to the ground. And we're out of initiative, because you killed him. <laughs> Very quickly. Good job. That went a lot better than last time. Gonna salvage my arrow. That's because one of them didn't have a big axe. Who knows? There might be one around the corner. We certainly can't stay. But we no. want to check their bodies first. Yeah, probably a good idea. I mean, they were checking the leader's pockets, yeah. so... Look for keys and whatnot. We're yeah, just gonna check around the corner. Gonna peek around the corner? Yeah. You see a room with a door. A uh, big guy doesn't have anything but his giant two-handed battle axe. The boss has his chain mail, his shield, his long sword. And um, give me a d12. Somebody roll a d12. Uh, there. He has two gold pieces on him. Um, and oh, the, sorry. yeah, <laughs> the, um, Kabold dragon shield, the tougher one has his shield, obviously. Um, da, da, da. and, uh, he's got a shield. He's got his, um, oh goodness. My brain's not working. He's got a uh, spear and his shield. And he's wearing kind of crappy leather armor. Um, and he what he, what you find that he had, was digging through was the boss's ration pouch. So he was just getting some rations to eat. Hmm. But no keys, no uh, something like that. No horn. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, he does have a horn. He does have a horn. I'm sorry. 
It's just a, a normal brass, like, cavalry horn. I'm gonna one grab. note. We, it's just a one note. I blow it. It makes loud noise. I'm gonna grab the horn. This might come in use. Anything so, else anybody else is doing in this room? Uh, no, but I am grabbing the Hobgoblin sword. If nothing else, then that's a trophy. Okay. All right, so you grab his long sword. It is just a normal long sword. Yeah. As far as I know, anyway, I mean... Gobs didn't think to check. She just wanted it because it was hid. It, it hmm. was his. That's fair. That's fair. Do you have a shield? Yeah, I do. Okay. I didn't know you were using a shield. I've been using a shield this entire time. I also said it when I fought him that I took it on the shield. Mm -hmm. I, thought, I thought you were, like, using the spell shield. I also did that on top. Okay. All right. It shields all the way down. It's shields. Just wearing nothing but shields. It, it, it's not <laughs> scale mail. It, it's, it's, not, it's not scale mail this. It's just shields. Just a lot of them. <laughs> Yeah, just a lot of shields. Oh, uh, goodness. Uh, okay. Um, I, so what we would like to do at this point? Oh, I could probably fix this so everybody can actually see what's going on. Fix what? The stream view. Oh, has the stream view not been working? Uh, I didn't scroll down when I moved you guys back. Ah. Well, potential viewers, you didn't miss much. Theater all, of the mind! All two of you. Sorry about that. <clears throat> yeah, we've only got two live viewers, but there may be more people who watch it on YouTube later. Like, we have live viewers? Yeah. Are they commenting? Not at the moment. Okay. Oh, great. Oh. You scared one away. Why'd you bring it up? Now they're ashamed. Good job, Doc. This is why we didn't get that sponsorship. Uh, no, I think the reason we didn't get it was that I attached a dick pic. It wasn't impressive enough. Yeah, I actually did get a separate email about that. They sent one back and like yeah, baby. Well, <laughs> <opening up>. <laughs> <laughs> my, my question is is I didn't realize you had enough self confidence to send your own. <laughs> like if I was gonna do it, I'd be like, all right, who biggest penis in the world? Yeah, that's the picture I'm attaching. <laughs> Well, uh, those are the same people, so... <laughs> you can answer that question now. You don't need Google. <laughs> All right, so back um, to something not, not penis-related. So um, these rooms, what is their purpose in the structural sense for a service tunnel? Uh, so you can just see there's, there's like, pressure gauges, um, valves, uh, some electrical conduit going in different areas, that kind of stuff. Okay. Junction room. Mm -hmm. Listening at the door. That's gonna no. slow all the way over here. Gonna slowly try the door and open it and see if there's anyone in there. I'm going to prepare a fire bolt. I'm All right, so so the door is not locked. Give me a perception check. Well, I already roll. Okay. Um, you don't hear anybody on the other side of the door. Yeah, no. And give me a stealth check for opening the door. Yeah. Okay. All right. You okay. successfully open the door and see that hallway. Woohoo. Dig around the corner. Waiting for your signal. There's a bad guy. Scooboo! Get him! Alert uh, reaction. 
kick his ass. Got to move back. Abraham, there's a cool bald. Kick his, kick his ass. ass. It was pretty. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and wave uh, Nate back here then. If he Please, is. Get ready. Okay. Okay. You want the initiative rolls, I'm guessing? Yeah, let's go ahead. So, so are you guys planning? Basically, you're gonna jump him as soon as he comes in sight. No, we're gonna sing, uh, su say surprise and sing happy birthday. I'm gonna you use know, minor I'll... illusion to produce a cake, and we're gonna trick him into thinking this is all arranged for him by all of his friends. I'll give you advantage on those rolls because <laughs> that that makes me that makes me happy inside and. <laughs> You know, maybe he wants a cake. Uh, Abraham, are you going to stand right in the middle? Because everybody else is kind of getting off to the side. Well, how, who's going to present the cake? Nate, I'm going to move you there just so you can be clearly out of the door frame. Because that, that's it's the door actually takes up both those squares. I just couldn't really make it do what I wanted it to do. Yeah, okay. Because that is what I wanted to do. Thanks. Yeah. Hey, I got you, fam. Uh, All right. Maybe another square back if you're doing ranged, just in case it gets up like right in your face. No. Okay, fair enough. I produce a cake from minor illusion in my hands. Are you actually doing that? Yes, I'm going to fucking awesome. have fun. Awesome. That's perfectly fine. I just want to, sometimes I just need to make sure I know that you're serious. All right, I so. Understand. Old man, I have a cake for you. Your friends have prepared a surprise party. Come in. All right. I need a deception check with advantage. What the fuck? So this one goes, cake, my favorite. And he is going to sprint towards you uh -huh. to there. The other one goes, no, you idiot. What are you doing? <laughs> and he's going to try to sprint after him to stop him. We're going to get here. We're going to roll initiative. But again, you guys will have a surprise round because th this guy's distracted by cake. This guy's distracted by idiot. I did you critic. You can go last if you want. No, it's just why? It's just can, abnormal. Can, it's, 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 the, it's a statistical abnormality. And can you give the crit to someone else? <laughs> Jeez. Make sure you're sharing your crits, kids. Don't hog them all. Crits are for kids. I mean, what? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> all right. So, I didn't mind work. Oh, uh, good question. Um, did you have your token selected? Yes, I had, but I guess I'll just re-enter it. There we go. I mean, you'd be in the same place in the initiative anyways. So, so Abraham, you get to go first. What would you like to do? I'll turn that cake into a firebolt. All right, firebolt away. Who are you firebolting? The guy that came in to get cake. All I'm right. an asshole. You get advantage because he is not expecting that. 24 hits. And I'll do average. It burns. <laughs> the cake, it burns. And the right. oh. water just vanished. It is. Whoops. Whoops. It's not back. Sorry. It's a surprise round. So everybody gets one action. Yep. Surprise so no longer around. So Nate. Go for it. Yeah. It's no longer around. Yeah, because the initiative order vanished. Surprise, it's no longer a round. Oh, uh, it's back now. Anyways, uh, Nate, so, what would you like to do? Well, I wanted to shoot the second guy in the face. All right. Um, with, it, with advantage, because he did not know you were there. What's up? Yeah, I was about to say. What's up? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So shoot away, Nate. Awesome. That does not hit. 17 doesn't hit this guy? No, it does not. Why are you at minus three? 
He's sharpshootering, dude. Oh, he used he used three. sharpshooter. It's plus three. Well, I just saw the the minus three mod, and I was confused. He's trying to do max damage on that dude. Yeah, a seventeen does not hit, sadly. Yeah, no. Anything else? No. Gobs, it is your turn. It's just an action. It's not a full turn, correct? Correct. Uh, Eldritch Blast second guy, then. All right, go for it. With advantage. He doesn't know you're there. A 22 does hit. For eight. For eight damage. Oh, that takes him in the side, and he was not expecting it, and almost kills him. Oh, and then oh, Otho Kent. Minus one. Yep. Uh, Otho Kent. Otho Kent will. Let's see here. We should probably just finish that guy off. Okay. Yeah, so Toll the Dead, the second guy. Go for it. For two damage if he fails. Wait, so he'll take. Two. Just two. That's lame. I hate that he rolls it like this. He succeeds, so he takes a point of damage, right? Uh, no, he takes nothing. It's a cantrip. Oh, okay. Yeah, he takes no damage. Turn order gone. That nabbit. I'm sorry. I hate that when I close it, it closes it for you guys, too. You, it was want, in my... you, you want to close the turn order constantly? I wanted it out of my way for that moment, yes. Uh, you can move it. Move it. It's draggable. Click on turn order. I, I, I know. I'm just being stupid. We're just trying to help. I know. I am well aware you're trying to help. I'm just stupid. It's my own stupidity <laughs> that's causing the problem. We're just trying to help you not be stupid. Yes. I, and I, I'm smart enough to understand that, but I'm not smart enough to not be stupid. <laughs> <laughs> It's My spelled opinion. moon. M-O-O-N moon. <laughs> no! Anyways, Abraham, we're back to you. This is a normal turn. You no longer have advantage. Everybody now knows that you're trying to kill them. And that there is no cake. It was a lie! The I cake I... was a Wait, lie. Where's my soundboard when I need it? I need, the, I need the canned laughter for that. Wait, we know Abraham is trying to kill us? Kill Abraham! <laughs> uh, which one are you shooting at? The same one. Same you want one? more cake? He does indeed take damage as the second firebolt hits him in the chest. On the right. open mouth? No. Oh, actually, that reminds me. Do me a favor. Um, go ahead and roll a d10 for me. Um, we'll let you do this, Abraham. Okay. Good. He's a, he's a, his scales are black, so that may or may not matter, but it may or may not matter. So there you go. All right. The new couples have damage resistance. All right. It is Nate. What you doing, homie? Well, I'm going to shoot this guy again. Go for it. No longer advantage. No longer an advantage, correct? Just a normal shoot bang. That hits. And he is dead. How come these leader type guys are so much weaker? Well, they've got really good armor. Okay, fair enough. But their HP is low. Fair enough. And their other stats are okay. So it's it's like like if you were to if you were to try to you know trick them or something like that, they're gonna res resist that better. Um when we're talking about just pure like toughness and whatnot, the Kabul Dragon Shields are actually tougher. Uh but their AC's nowhere they've got a lot more hit points, but they don't have as much uh armor. I'm sorry, I didn't but, mean to derail with the explanation or anything. No, that's fine. Uh, Nate, anything else you'd like to do on your turn after slaughtering your enemies and driving them before you and hearing the lamentations of their women?
I'll take ne Nexus's stunned silence as a, hey, I'm done. Yes. <laughs> Gobs, it's your turn. All right. I'm just going to move up like this and go booming blade on that guy. Okay. So just a regular longsword hit to begin with. Go for it. 21. That does indeed hit. For eight points of slashing damage. All right. So he's down to that. Okay. And then I'm going to use Nimble Escape to disengage and basically just take another step over here out of his reach. And in between him and Abraham. And that's yep. my turn. All right. It is now his turn. He has no idea what it means that he is sheathed and booming the energy, whatever that is. And he's going to go mad because no cake. And he's going to run to here. He's going to take 1d8 points of thunder damage. Go for it. Eight. <laughs> Jeez. He starts, like, bleeding out of his ears, and he's, he's having a bad time. But he is also now next to Mr. Grissom, and he's going to attempt to stab you with his spear. Whoa. I believe a 20 hits you, correct? Ooh. Yeah, it does. Sorry, you take... Prevent that. You did a good job. Let's see. You take damage, man. four points of damage as you're stabbed with a spear. Ah! And Pain! He, I've never felt it before! And he's going to try to stab you again. And the second time, he misses horribly. They have multi-attack? They have multi-attack. Jesus. Multi-attack and pack tactics at the same time. Yes. He has, he has multi-attack, pack <laughs> tactics. God. Uh, he has resistance based on the t color of dragon he's invested the power of. And if he's frightened or paralyzed by any effect that requires a saving throw, he can repeat it at the start of his turn. And if he ends it on himself, he can end it on any other kobolds within 30 feet of him. They're pretty so, nasty. Yeah, so the kobold army hasn't taken over the world. Why? Because they like cake. That's true. They're stupid. Where we get that now? Yeah, he dumb. All right, and that is the end of his turn. What would Othokent like to do? Othokent is going to move to here just arbitrarily and mm -hmm. use Told the Dead on that guy. All right. Uh, yeah, he failed. Fuck. He rolled a nat one. He is really not looking very good at all. Mr. Grissom, what would you like to do, sir? Stop stabbing me and die. That unfortunately does not hit. And my firebolt goes wide. Yep, just a little bit. It's because he's so close and he's kind of darting and wobbling really weirdly. I just right? got stabbed. And you got stabbed. Do you have crossbow expert? Hmm? Do you have crossbow expert? What? Why would um, crossbow... Can you not... You can cast a spell within melee. Uh, you can, but you have disadvantage on ranged attack rolls in melee. Does that even affect spell attacks? Yes, it does. It affects any form of attack roll. Interesting. I missed. Uh, either way, he, he missed, so... Unless you want uh, to threat a... Not one. I'm not really <laughs> no. worried about it. Okay. Moving on with life. Next, person. Nate, what would you like to do, sir? Shoot him with a LeBron bow. Great damage. And Nate does a tremendous amount of damage. He is on his last legs, but he is still standing. One hit point. Gotcha. All right. Who's going to finish him off? <laughs> That's it. <sighs> okay. Gobs. Uh, attack. No. Plus minus Be one. Because of the minus one, you do not hit. All righty then. Great. Yeah. 
uh yeah that's uh that's it. oh no no you would have missed steven without the minus one i apologize that is perfectly fine it is his turn it's like cake wanted cake oh did you have anything else you were gonna do i'm sorry no no no, no. does a 14 hit you abraham i have a 12 so yes Seven points of damage as he connects squarely with his spear. And he will try to hit you again. Please kill him. Please kill him. Please kill him. And he does not connect with this one. He misses. We are trying. Otho Kent. Okay. Uh, told the dead again. All right. For another five, five damage. Five. He's and consistent. <laughs> Hey, you know, consistency wins the day. How would Otho can't like to do this? Just bleed him. I mean, it's, uh, since it's a total dead, it's like a, I always imagine it's like the church bell ringing for someone dead. Mm -hmm. It's just ringing around their head. Yeah. So just sort of blood spurge from the ears as both of them burst, crushing whatever might have been inside. Excellent. Excellent. Well, you're successful in doing that. So uh, his, his, he crumples over, blood pours out the ears, nostrils, and all that stuff, and he lays on the floor twitching for a moment before it stops. Does he rattle the word cake? Yeah. <laughs> and... that, was, that was cruel, man. Why'd you have to bring cake into this? <laughs> and knowing Otho Kent, he would bring some healing to Abraham, so... Because a cake is easy for a lot of stupid creatures to understand. If you present a pie, he's like, what kind of pie is it? Because they can't see inside it. They have a lot of questions. But a cake, everybody understands what a cake is visually. I'm, I'm making a cake this evening. Oh, cool. I'm going to make an earthquake cake. What? what? Earthquake cake? Yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of, it's made, it's a chocolate cake uh, that's got a layer. Filled, filled with lots of turkey. Oh, no. Too too soon. Oh God, no. Oh, oh geez, nice. Um, <laughs> if, I'll if, get if, demonetized. <laughs> yeah, uh, but no, it's uh, it's got a layer of like chocolate chips that you put on the bottom, so they melt into a hard chocolate layer. Then you've got your chocolate cake, and then uh, on top you spoon uh, cream cheese icing. And when you bake it, the icing kind of kind of filters into the cake so it leaves kind of like these big cracks and crevices that are filled with cream cheese icing it's neat it's very delicious but it's like it's filled with sugar seven hit points okay i am doing much better all right let's go ahead and take a short break here uh as i need a refill on my beverage um yep. so let's take five and i will be yep and i'll be back in a moment all right These kobolds are brutal. That ogre was what was brutal. Also the ogre. I do not disagree. This Christ, the half ogre?
And I am back. Welcome back. Welcome back. <clears throat> so once Sin is back, we'll get back started, but hopefully you guys are enjoying the little bit of a dungeon crawl. We don't do those too often. I don't want a dungeon call, but that whole that whole focus was brutal. Right? It's so weird because like him and the uh he's supposed to be a CR1. And then the hobgoblins, right, are CR1 halves. And then these Kabul, Kabul Dragon Shields are CR ones as well. And I'm just like, you know, that that half ogre was way nastier. I guess the only thing is, is like, had you guys like gotten to go before him completely and focused him, he would have died because he's got really low armor and his hit points aren't super high. So, but it, man, when he connected, it was not a good experience. You, it was not. Oh, Centauri's posted memes. Sen, are we back? I've never left. <laughs> uh, we still love you. All right. Let me clear initiative order. And let's see if we can make it through the rest of this before the end of today's session. Okay. So, you guys were able to defeat them. Anything you'd like to do before you continue moving through the depths? Of the maintenance tunnels. Hmm. Long rest. Long rest. No. I don't oh, think you're we... sleepy. I don't think we safely can do that here. The enemies are I mean, too close would... to rest. What would the estimate be? Hmm. Probably not a good idea. What's around the corner? What is around the corner? Not any noises. Oh, hit the wrong button. Let me hit the right one. Uh, give me a perception check for noises. You do not hear anything around the corner. Checking around the next corner. Huh? Boop. There we go. I'm coming up. Warming up. Coming up. The next couple of turns uh, turns seem fine, but I'm not sure. Should we continue as we have been with? Oh Jesus Christ! That's not what I meant to do. With you, um. With you going a turn ahead of us, and we're just following along behind? Yeah. Oh, we use uh, Roscoe. Yes, yes, Roscoe, go ahead. Either yeah, is that's fine. Smart. That's smarter. We're not putting you in danger then, my bad. Uh, I don't think that token size. Oh, no, it is. Oh, man. It's size right. Flying along the same way, you know. Flippity, flippity, flip. Cling. Okay, go ahead and give me a stealth check for him at that point. Cool. Apparently knocks over a pipe. <laughs> All right. Can, can continue. Flies into the darkness. Hold on. And he can give me a perception check. Yes, uh, I, he, he physically can't. I mean, would you like me to give you a perception check on his behalf? Yes. <laughs> Jerk. You knew what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> he got a six. He's not seen, he doesn't hear shit. Uh, let's see. 
his passive is 13 if we're doing a versus um he can hear what sounds like claws on ground and flapping wings wings and claws on the ground that's what he hears stay there we'll, we'll and be... and and there's a door right there we'll keep, yes on the other side of the door Voice in the sky telling me to say what I want to say. And just... I was just commenting that that was a door. I didn't tell you there was a door, and I was trying to make it up. It's fine. I, I, I see the door. I should have. I should have said so. I was but just I, making sure you knew it was a door. Yeah, yeah. No, I knew it was. I should have said something, but just giving you a hard time. Mm-hmm. Flip. I'll take a spot. Does anybody other than Otho Kent speak Draconic? Uh, Abraham? Okay. You do hear someone saying something in Draconic uh, about, aren't you a good pretty little thing? Did you hear it too? Let's be ready. Yes, my pretty little thing. Be ready. It's all you're hearing. Like he's... So it's a kobold. You can tell it's a kobold because you've heard him. But he's soothing something. It's like Cobalt Beastmaster with something inside. He's talking to the beast. So we should all just prepare to attack it. I can confront. Well, I don't think we're going to get past it by talking. They hear us and they're ready to fight. So just shoot at whatever we see on the other door then. Anything Ooh. that looks like a cobalt, shoot it. To go for it. Would you like a better position, Nate, or are you good there? All right. Three, two, one. Boot to the door. I mean, I'm not in front row, but. Hands up! This is the police! <laughs> FBI! Squats in the back. <laughs> All right, so you guys are entering the room? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, we're throwing Mila in the room and closing the door. And it's initiative time. You hear a bunch of squ- screaming and squelching sounds, followed by blood coming from coming below the door. And then Miller coming back out. You guys, you guys ready? Come on. Ah, uh, yes. Tentacle pawn. Just Miller burping. Oh. So I don't need to eat for the day now. Oof. No crits for me. For once. For once. It's Miller's, and I have selected Otho. Not as Otho. What is that tiny thing? It's a thing. It's a small red flying lizard. Okay, it's red. Yeah, well, that one's not red, but that specific one isn't red, but the image I used, I couldn't get a good shot of the red one. It's supposed to be red. Yeah. Okay, got it. They actually come in all kinds of different colors. I guess it doesn't really matter. Big ones? Small ones? No. Some this size? No, no, they're all small. They're all small. A little bit bigger than a small bird, or a large is this, bird. Is it a Suedo dragon? Nope. Is it a short stack dragon? N- no. Is it a method? No. Like, what is it? My, my my arcane eyes want to know. Then you make an arcana check. Okay. When it gets to my turn. Oh, you can do it now. Okay. You don't know exactly what they are, but they seem to be related to dragons. Gotcha. It's a baby. It it is not a dragon, but it's related to them. You know that much. It's a right. baby. Pip. Nate, what would you like to do, sir? I would like one squash.
The squares? The squares? Going to shoot him in the face. Okay. No. Yes, you will. Okay. He's dead. Yeah. I... Yep, real quick and easy. Just arrow hits him, he dies. <laughs> uh, kobolds are so dumb when you don't do anything else to them. Anyways, uh, anything else you'd like to do? Yes. Okay. okay. Is that the end of your turn? Yes. Okay, the fire lizard's turn. Do, 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 do. He is going to fly to right there. And he is going to breathe a cone of fire. Everybody needs to make a dexterity saving throw. Everybody? Everybody. How? Is it too close? Well, it's a, it's a 15-foot cone. And then move it back a square. Okay. There. Because the first, the first spot is always just going to be that one square. Right? Yeah, it would have been yeah. that one, then the two behind it. I mean, technically, yeah, I could just put them here, and it would technically get you all. But either way, you guys get the point. Everybody makes a dexterity saving throw for me. All righty. Minus one. Okay. I also need to do the minus one thing, so give me just a moment. Or you could just roll it and we could just take one off. Yeah, but I can I can automate it. Yeah, but Therefore, we... I will spend hours automating it. <laughs> okay. And Otho. Okay, Otho is the only one who fails. So, everybody who made the save, you take two points of fire damage. Otho takes five points of fire damage as it what shoots out a cone of fire. What was Nine. Okay. Jesus. That's low. Yeah. It is. And uh, all of you here in your minds, die vile evildoers, echoes through your brains, and draconic. So those of you that understand draconic heard that. No, wait, actually, doesn't matter. You, all of you understand it. Yeah, telepathy works out. Yeah. yeah. Is this uh, thing evil or what? Seems kind of cute. Um, Can you explain to it that we're not to? evil? Gobs, it's your turn. What would you like to do? Um, all right. So seeing as Gobs sort of ducked behind the shield, tucked a little, um, I'm going to try a thing. I'm going to take a step forward. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to try and yell, uh, yell uh, just try, uh, try to do, you know, the I look big and scary type thing. I go, knock it off, you stupid lizard! Stop doing that! Okay. Basically trying an intimidate check, and I don't know if it understands my words, because I'm speaking common. Okay. Do you want the intimidate check? With disadvantage, because oh. it's surely going to go off of body language, because it does not speak common. That is perfectly fine. Nine. It does not look afraid of you. No. I'm also a goblin, so that probably doesn't help. Okay. Anything else you'd like to do? No. Abraham, what would you like to do? Um...
I'd like to... Abraham's going to buck up, act indignant. I am not evil. How dare you? Okay. What language do you say that in? Draconic. Okay. Did you specify that beforehand? No, I didn't, but thank you for clarifying. Okay. I was okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, do a persuasion check. <laughs> you can tell by the way it tilts its head as it's flying there that it understood you, but it doesn't seem to care. Hmm. Okay. Anything else you'd like to do? Um, if I still have actions. I'll let you still have an action on that. Shoot with a firebolt. For it. D12 or 12? Uh, what is its AC? That does not hit. Glances okay. off of its scaly hide. Okay. What would Otho Kent like to do? Uh, let's see here. Um, he would be a proponent for peace, but considering we have a time, he's going to go anywhere. Oh, fuck it. He'll, uh, he'll give it a try. Oh, yeah, he also... I need to stay true to the fact that he's just gotten emotions, question mark? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, he's gonna try and talk it down. Okay. So, a persuasion check to just try and diffuse the situation, go, no, no, this is a misunderstanding. We're not evil in Draconic. Okay. With disadvantage? Yep, obviously. No. <laughs> Diplomacy has failed. He does not seem phased by this at all. All right. What else would you like to do? I don't think he'd be the type who wants to fight it, but for efficiency's sake, I should probably have him go um, uh, told the dead on it. Okay. Go ahead and roll damage. Its go. head explodes and dies. Horrible. <laughs> oh, oh, but I. If we could have had it as a pet, I would have liked that. It seemed intelligent. I think that's yes. slavery. I mean, what about Roscoe? What a, what about Roscoe? Like. I could have my we own don't Roscoe. talk about Roscoe. If it had been feasible, if we'd been able to talk to it, then yeah. Poor little thing. Yeah. I mean, it didn't deserve. The, it didn't deserve any of this, but. We don't, don't wait. He just said one thing, and now we're assuming an entire life story. Yes, we do. Next door. We absolutely do. It, it is, in fact, what we are doing. It is what we do. You can hear uh, two voices through the store. Um, one of them sounds um, very kaboldish. The other one sounds like the hobgoblins. Uh, and they're arguing, is like, please, so when will they wake up? Don't know, not doctor. Well, do something about it. That's what you hear. You do something about it. You're not boss. Boss is dead. Well, I'm boss now. Do something about it. We could try and kick down the door, kill the boss, and go, no, we're boss now. Uh, well, go ahead. I'm not going first. Oh, I'm fine going first then. Okay, give me a stealth check as you open the door. Oh, I'm not stealthing. I am kicking down the door. 
Oh, and okay. Be ready to crowd. shoot. All right, then give me an attack roll. To kick down the door. Well, you're getting it. You're getting it uh, with strength. Yes. What? I can't. I can't count the doors. My hex blade. <laughs> no. Is that what you're telling me? Yes. All right. This plus one. So seven. You you go and you kick the door and your knee actually really hurts from trying to do it. It's a fairly solid door. It does not budge when you try to kick it. Right, fuck it. Open the door. It opens just fine. It's not locked. Oh, that hurt. Oh, no one's in there. Great. All that for nothing. And let's get some initiative. Because you can't see if there's somebody in there or not. That is true. Hey, Nate, you get to go first. What would you like to do, my man? Well, I'm going to go in and see what I can see. Hey, look at you. Proud of you. Pichu. So you see a hop goblin, you see a kobold dragon shield, and you see the two, two uh, kobolds that you knocked out before. And you can see this is not a door. It's an archway right here. If I can click. Nope, I've got the wrong selector. This is an archway, not a door, so just be mindful of that. Okay. Do they seem alerted? Yes, they heard somebody try to kick a door and then um, open it. Oh, <laughs> so, so they've got their weapons drawn and they are facing your direction. Well, I'm going to shoot at this guy. It, this will not be advantage because they are alerted of your guys' yeah. presence. No. That does not hit, unfortunately. And that is my turn. Okay. Bolt Dragon Shield. How far can they move? Okay. Two, three, four. He makes it to there. What was noise? Bad thing. All right, other one's turn. And he is going to double move to try to get to you. Like so. Mr. Grissom, it is your turn. Uh, you do also, uh, as a side note, you can see a bunch of, like, blankets and pallets and stuff. This is where they sleep. It's kind okay. of their sleeping, where they've been sleeping. So we should probably, like, pull them back and, like, fight them through the door. Yeah, that seems like the smart thing to do. Then I don't really know what to do. Move back, prepare an action for cantrip? Question yeah, I'm just gonna prepare. I'm just gonna stay right here. Prepare if I see a guy, I'm gonna shoot him with the firebolt. Okay, so you're holding your attack action for when you can mm -hmm. see somebody to shoot use firebolt on them. Specifically okay. those things in that order. Okay. 
So I'm that nervous cop with his finger on the trigger, and I will pull the trigger when I see a kabold face. Gotcha. Or a hobgoblin face, I assume as well. Uh, yeah, or an ogre face, the gigantic axe. That will, that will also happen. Sure. Understandable. What would Otho Kent like to do? Uh, let us see here. He is going to cast a spell. Okay, what's he going to cast? He's going to cast Bless. Okay, who's he blessing? He is blessing Nate. He is blessing Mila, and he is blessing Abraham. Okay, so you guys all have Bless. Because, as far as I recall, all three of us use attack rolls. Mm-hmm. It's a hobgoblin's turn. He can move a bit further. So he is going to bum rush Nate, but he cannot do anything once he gets there. But this does put him in line of sight for Abraham. Damn. Yeah, even with the deep... D4 for Bless that will not hit. So you fire and he catches it with the shield and kind of bounces it off. Gobs, it's your turn. All right. Gonna move up to there. And I am gonna do Booming Blade on that guy since it's literally just a better regular attack. Sure. At 20 hits for nine nine damage. Right. He is very hurt from that. And I'm also going to say, um, if you can't, then try to back up, Nate. I can, I can keep them at bay here. Yeah. Nate, it's your turn. And he goes down. Good job, Nate. Yeah, it's gonna step back. All right, I'm gonna step back to there. All right, anything else you'd like to do? Just pull out the bow and get ready. Okay. All right, bulb dragon shield number one is going to rush up to you. Yep. And he's going to try to stab you with a spear. Of course he is. What's their attack modifier? Does a 20 hit you? It normally would, but I'm going to use a spell slot to cast shield. So now my AC is 24. All right. So, you know, goes to hit you, and once again, the black ichor comes off of your arm and catches this spearhead and throws it to the side. Gross! I might think it's going to, like, linger around the air, just slowly moving, <gasps> anticipating. He's with... here! Slowly apparently. moving. Slowly moving. Hey, yeah. so, <laughs> I, ha- I have some bad news for you, John. I was put in charge of Hotho Kent. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> is dead. He is not. He Anyways, <laughs> trying to so tank. the n- next attack, he's going to try to hit you again. Yeah. Which at 13 definitely does not hit. So you are safe. And that yep. is the end of his turn. His buddy is going to come up, though. Boop, 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 boop. To there. And with pack tactics, he will have advantage as he tries to stab you with this pointy spear. Yeah. First attack, it does not even hit your normal AC. Right. And the second attack also does not hit. So uh, between you're between the shield using the the tendrils coming off of the arm, uh, you're able to keep both of these guys at bay without them doing any damage to you. Mr. Grissom, what would you like to do? Shoot this guy. Which one? Apparently I can't ping. 
that guy. All right, go for it. That hits. That was supposed to be a D10. I hit an extra zero. Can we just roll a D10 this time? There we go. <laughs> hey, it's the <laughs> first digit. We could have just shaved off that second digit and got that. <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, sorry, uh, Soundscream. I said that to you. That was not supposed to go to you. I know. That's okay. I've also removed your control of Otho Kent since John I... is here. All right, you... so three points of damage. So it hits. Um, oh, actually, do this for me. I need, uh, since he's here, John, roll me two d10s. All right. So a three and an eight. Okay. All right. So one of these is white and one of them is blue. What? Oh, that. I keep forgetting about that. All right, it is. Are you anything else Abraham would like to do? No, he's perfectly satisfied with this firing position. He'll continue shooting from here. Awesome. Also, Kent, it's your turn, my friend. What would you like oh. to do? Well, I am going to ask if uh, any of these uh, ruffians are looking hurt. And not talking uh, about my teammates. The one to the right, <laughs> yeah, I'm not talking about your teammates. The one to the right of Gobs is injured, very slightly. All right, then I'll go for the one to the right, and I will ding dong the toll the dead. Your delivery is a lot better than mine. It is. Dude, it is. It, this is already better, and you rolled better too. He does take the full amount of damage. Boom. But these, as you guys know, the ones with the shields, they're a bit sturdier, so he is still on his feet. Ooh. Anything else, Otho Kent? Um, <laughs> well, for the time being, I do not think so. Right. I'm going to take a step forward. That's it. Excellent. Gobs, what would you like to do? All right, let's see. Um, is this the most hurt one, this one? Yes. All right. Gonna attack that one, then. Okay. Just good old-fashioned... Yeah, good old-fashioned longsword. Just longsorting it. Longsword style. Does this does not it. hit. And that is all that I am doing. I'm staying right where I am. Let's keep okay. them here. Nate, what would you like to do? Also, the tendrils have now withdrawn back into the arm. Gonna shoot at this guy in front of me. Go for it. That hits. Okay, you were shooting the hurt one, right? Yes. Okay. Again, these guys are awful sturdy, so he is still on his feet. Okay, anything else? No. All right. Dragon Shield number one is going to try to stabby stabby with advantage because he has back tactics. Yeah. That is a nat 20. Nothing I can do about that. You take a whopping seven damage as he stabs you straight in the thigh. How oh, rude. Second attack is coming in. Does a 20 hit you? It would, but I'm going to throw up the shield at this point. Which How many spell slots spells. do you have? Two. Oh. Does it's Booming Bl Booming Blade doesn't take a spell slot? It's a cantrip. Oh, nice. Okay. Just making sure. 
All right. So, yes, that does not hit then. And that is the end of his turn. The next dragon shield is going to continue to do the same. And he again has advantage. He is not going to get past a, what is it, a 24? 24 right now. And that's a nat 20. Two crits in a row. Ow. Well, not this one hits a bit harder. This one's for nine points of damage. So the one on the right hits you for nine. Okay, okay. I'm still standing. I'm just not doing very well. And that is the end of his turn. Mr. Grissom, we are back to you, my friend. I see uh, snouts that are still breathing. I'm going to shoot one. Go for it. That definitely hits. Are you shooting the hurt one? Uh, yes, Miller, right there. I don't Got see it. it. No, I'm shooting this one. Got it. All right, and this one's starting to look a bit rough, but he is still on his feet. Anything else you'd like to do, Mr. Kent? Mm. Or no, Mr. Grissom. Sorry. Hey. Hey. No, I'm good. Mr. Kent, what would you like to do? All right, then. I am going to see if I can't finish off the uh, ruffian that is standing over to the right. So. Doom. Wow. He is huh? going to take all three points of it, but he is still up and on his feet. Yeah, that has been happening today for you. Hmm. I, am I mean, I am a... Dice. I mean, I am a life domain cleric and not a death domain, so... Do you like to do anything else? Uh, I'm going to take a small step just to make sure nothing gets over to Grissom, and apart from that, no. Awesome. Gobs, what would you like to do? Oh, uh, fight? Hopefully survive, maybe? Cool. Um, yeah, I'm going to attack the guy next to me. Okay, go moment. for it. And I just remember that since I have Bless, I should probably be adding a Bless as well. That generally tends to help. There we go. All right. Uh, long sword. There we go. That Did definitely hits. For five. You guys are, are grinding him down, but he is still on his feet. I he looks I... really not good. Can I add Fury of the Small as well? You'd like to. Yes, I would. For an additional two points of damage. Still on his feet, but also Damn looking it. very rough. All right, and I'm just going to stay right where I am. Okay. Just here, keeping them at bay. Nate, what would you like to do, sir? Beauty bang bang. On which one? I heard boy. All right. See it. Definitely hits. And Hurdy Boy is dead. Nice. Okay. Anything else you'd like to do? No. All right. Our dragon's last remaining dragon shield is up. He no longer has advantage because his buddy's dead. But he's still going to take two attacks. Yep. Does a, a 16 hit you? No. And does a 13 hit you? No. Yeah, he's a little bit little bit disheveled because of his friend's death. Oh gee, is he? Mm-hmm. So he's having trouble hitting you. Abraham, what would you like to do, sir? Take a step over and shoot mm -hmm. that guy. Go for it. That hits. Mm. 
Nine points of damage. Biggest hit so far. Yep, so he has begun to take damage for the first time. Good job. This one had not been touched yet. Mr. Kent, what would you like to do, sir? All right, it seems like there's only one person to gang up on, so he's going to get his bill told. <laughs> ding, ding, dong. He will take all three points of damage. You're consistent. Yes. <laughs> At least Any he fails his saves. Anything else you'd like to do? Ah, yes, a step forward like usual. All righty. Uh, all right. Okay. Gobbs, what would you like to do? He's been hurt, but he's looking fairly healthy. I'm going to utilize Booming Blade. Okay. Um? So, if I hit, it sets up the vibration thingy. Yep. That, unfortunately, does not hit. All right. Um, yeah, bonus action to uh, allow myself to disengage and just take a step back regardless. You can bonus action disengage? I can do to nimble escape. It's uh, uh, a thing goblins can do. Very nice. Good deal. Been doing Excellent. it a few times already. I, I, it's been a while, so just making sure. Yep. Cool. Yes, thank you, Nexus. I appreciate you. Uh, anything else you'd like to do? No. Nate, it's your turn, my friend. Uh, let's do a power shot, because why not? That does not hit. Yeah, it hits. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> Isn't Sharpshooter a minus five? It is. Okay. Just looking Why? at your equation there, just has a minus three on it. It has a plus three. So I see a plus four, a minus three, a plus two. It, it would hit either way. I'm just wondering. Why is it doing that? That looks weird. I know. That's why I was asking about it. That's okay. It's not a big deal. That does still hit. 17 damage is a fantastic hit. And it, he really does not appreciate it. Oh, and another four from Favorite Foe. Oof. Yeah, you hit him really, really hard. He is still up, but he does not look very good at all. You guys got this. End of turn. Yeah, yeah certainly do. <laughs> He's going to step forward and very single-mindedly continue to attack Gobs. Yeah. First attack goes wide. His second attack is a 14, which I believe also does not hit you, as you're able to fend him off. That is the end of his turn. AC of 19. Mr. Grissom. What would you like to do, my friend? still right in front of me. Mm-hmm. That hits. Another hit. He's you guys are whittling him down. Yes. Very tough guy. So. Yep. They have a good number of hit points. That's gonna be it for me. Alright. Otho Kent, what would you like to do? I am going to employ one of the greatest spells in my arsenal. <laughs> he crits with a dagger. Oh, this is so fantastic. How would you like and to do this? he deals more damage than a literal spell that summons magic from beyond. So, at this point, Ofo Kent, well, he just went up close just in case something went wrong with Garbs. He just sees this, uh, and I cobalt keeping, being a deuce is just gonna... <sighs> and just stab him in the jugular. <laughs> Excellent. So... Uh, because of time, I'm going to narrate a little bit of what happens at this point uh, to set up our session for next week. 
So you guys continue to explore. Um, you guys go down here and check out this tunnel, which leads to a, a power conduit piping down here. Doesn't lead anywhere else. Uh, but what's very interesting is what you find in the room to the left up here. You find this large room where you see... Uh, actually, uh, go ahead and I want investigation checks. And I will take an arcana check from anybody. I cast guidance on Nate. That has it. As you guys get into here. Because didn't get to do it in time for uh, Ibrahim. So when you get into this room, you're going to notice a couple things. Um, number one, there's some kind of weird substance kind of it looks like almost like a snail trail, a giant snail trail all over this room. You see several of those little dragons, dragon things. There were skeletons on the ground. Um, you also see several kobolds on the ground that are dead and their bodies all dissolved to skeleton. You can also see a pathway that goes up here. Oh, whoops. And something that's interesting is these two portcullises both have bars, but they've been dissolved and eaten away. You don't see anything else alive down there, but with that very good arcana check, Abraham, they were talking about a creature, and the creature took their treasure. You think they may have been attacked by an ooze? An ooze? Mm hmm. A large acidic ooze. Maybe, maybe cube shaped, even based off the shape of the holes left in the gate. Be very careful in this low light. <laughs> There's likely a clear ooze hiding around waiting t for you to step into. How will we spot it then? And a shimmer, a distortion in the light. We'll need detectors. Something to pick up micro vibrations and air density. I could just shoot bolts everywhere. That works too. And with that, we will end our session for this week. Next week, we should be able to finish this and maybe, maybe make it into the sales level itself. Maybe. Maybe. Woo! So, John, thanks thanks for coming in. I'm sorry we didn't get to spend more time with you, but they did take good care of your character today. Um, but so so we've got this week, and then the following week, if you guys make it far enough in the story, we may have our final member of the party back with us. Um, the couple weeks after that are going to be a bit interesting because my wife has her spine surgery on the 21st of March. Um, so definitely that following week, it'll either be no game or Centauri's game. And we'll okay. see how things are going from there. So I'm, I'm also down to one vehicle. One of the things I didn't get a chance to tell you guys about is my wife had a car accident this last week. So um, so she's OK. But uh, but yeah, we are we are down to one vehicle. So it's been kind of a stressful week. As I'm working and filter, you know, taking kids and doing all that kind of stuff. So speaking of which, I have a very grumpy cat at the vet that I need to go pick up. So I'm going to go ahead oh, and good, end good. our stream and go get Raphael, the grumpy fat cat. Uh, and I'll be back later this evening. But for anybody watching, thank you for joining us. And we'll see what happens next week as we continue to explore the wide, fun world of Neep. Neep. Neep.